Happy Pi Day, everyone. I'm James, and for the past few months, I've been working on a new Nerf training and rendering engine for use inside of Blender. And on this very special day, I am opening up the closed alpha to the public. Come here, check this out. I'm calling it Turbo Nerf, and what you're looking at here is a Nerf that I've trained inside of Blender and rendering a preview at interactive frame rates. That's pretty cool in my opinion. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install it, how to use it. It's very easy, there's no coding involved, I promise. And all you need is Windows 10 or 11, an NVIDIA graphics card like one of these, and a hefty portion of patience and tolerance for bugs and glitches, because this is a true alpha experience, meaning there are not a lot of features yet, and this is extremely experimental. But I find this stuff so fascinating and so exciting, and since I'm the only dev working on this full time, I want to build a community to help me stay motivated where I can share my work, get feedback, and make Turbo Nerf the best thing it possibly can be. More features are coming soon, so join the Discord where you can get your latest updates and be a part of this with me. I have some crazy ideas that I cannot wait to share with everyone. And now, a word from our sponsors. It's me! There is no sponsor. I'm the sponsor. I just put on a different shirt and a hat because I can. So this software is free and open source and very permissively licensed, and I'd like to keep it that way. Uh, last year, I quit my job so I could pursue this full time. And here you can see a clear delineation of when I started working on this project. I've worked harder than I ever have before, and I've loved every moment of it, and I'd like to keep doing this. So really, I would like you to sponsor me. That's, that's what's really going on here. Um, go check me out on GitHub Sponsors, and I'll even throw in some perks. Okay, let's dive into the installation, and I'll show you how to get TurboNerf running in Blender. If a text-based approach is more your speed, one of our incredible community members, Andrew Hazelden, has created a thoroughly detailed document available online. Absolute legend. Anyway, First, you'll need Blender. TurboNerf has been verified to work on all versions between 3.2 and 3.4.1. Next, you'll need to download the three following things. The Blender add-on, the render engine, PyTurboNerf, and the test dataset. Currently, it is sometimes possible to use your own datasets, but there are issues with the quality right now. Here's an example of a real dataset of a mushroom. You can see it's just not great. And of course, this is high on my priority list to deep dive into ways of drastically improving the image quality. For now, there's a lot you can do with just a bulldozer, so let's continue. First, go into the Turbo Nerf repository page and find the link to releases and pre-release. This is a continuously deployed downloadable version of the Python library that Blender interfaces with to run the training and rendering processes. Make sure to read through the notes for this release. Depending on what GPU you have installed, it's going to be a different download, and the only one that will work is the one for your GPU's architecture. In this machine, I have an RTX A6000, so for me, I will need the Ampere variant. It doesn't really matter where you put this, just unzip it and remember where it is. You can see inside there is a .pyd file. This is the Python library. Also, there are some DLLs for CUDA. Leave these all in the same folder, pretty please. Next, let's go to the Blender add-on repository and find the same releases page, pre-release, and download TurboNerf Blender add-on.zip. Don't unzip this one, we can just install it in Blender as is. And finally, download the LEGO Bulldozer dataset and unzip that. Okay, we're done downloading, let's start installing. Open up Blender, go to Edit Preferences Add-ons, click Install in the upper right corner, and find the TurboNerf Blender add-on.zip file you downloaded just a few moments ago. Hit Install Add-on, and then click the checkbox to activate it. Now, here's the important part. Right next to the checkbox is a little triangle that you can click, and it will drop down information about the add-on. At the bottom here is a section called Preferences, and as of this video, there is only one option. It is the directory of the PyTurboNerf files you've downloaded from my GitHub page. All right, you can click the little folder icon and navigate to the unzipped directory containing pyturbonerf.pyd and all the DLLs. Hit accept. And that's it. Congratulations. 
You've just installed the very first pre-release version of my life's work. Now let's use it. Click anywhere in the 3D view and press N on the keyboard, or try to find this extremely well-hidden tiny left carrot looking sorry excuse for a button and click it to reveal the workspace panels. And now one of them should be Turbo Nerf. Let's open that up and go to import dataset. Find the Lego Bulldozer folder you downloaded, select the transforms.json inside of it, and hit Import Dataset. And now you can click Start Training. It may look as though nothing has happened, but if you check out the developer console, you'll see that it has started training. Now, to visualize the nerf, go over to this toolbar and find the Render Properties icon. It looks like the back of a DSLR. And change the render engine to Turbo Nerf. Then, at the top right of the 3D view panel, change the viewport shading mode to render preview. And boom, you should now see a very pixelated nerf. You may notice that the colors look pretty washed out. This is on my to-do list to solve, but you can get around it right now by opening up the color management properties and changing the view transform from filmic to raw. You can stop the training to get a higher resolution preview, and if you're not training, whenever you stop moving the viewport around, it should start tiling the space with a full resolution image. Okay, I'm gonna make a simple orbit shot. All I did here was parent the camera to a null and rotated the null. And now let's export the animations as a video. I'm running this on a single RTX A6000 and it takes about six seconds per frame. So I'm gonna speed through this. And there we have it. A nerf that was trained and rendered all inside of Blender. It almost brings a tear to my eye. And that's it. Let me know what you think. If you make anything with it, tag me on social media. I'd love to see what you're doing. And if you have any feedback, what are you waiting for? Come on and join the Turbo Nerf Discord. It's linked below and we'd love to have you. Bye-bye now.